What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. I want to thank you for tuning in to my channel today. I appreciate it very much. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you do not miss out on any of my upcoming content. So as you can see, I got old Lee back here behind me and he's in his john boat i'm in my john boat and we're out on the lake today and we're going to have a one v one tournament now i will admit that the water temps are definitely lower than what we both thought they were going to be the water temps right now are like 57 58 degrees the main lake is actually 56. i brought a whole bunch of top water stuff and um it, that's probably not going to happen today but anyway you know so hopefully the fish bite this place can get kind of tough this time of year when they're in that transitional period, but we're hoping for some fish. Maybe we'll get some big ones. We're going to weigh in at what, uh, let's see, what, 2.30? Yeah. 2.30? Two, okay, so probably 2.30. It's 10 o'clock right now. We're going to weigh in at 2.30, our best five. Let's see if we can get them. Hopefully, we'll both catch a big bag. All right, we're going to go on to our first spot. Good luck. 2.30. 2.30. And what we're gonna do, y'all, is we're gonna weigh, we both have the same scale. We're gonna weigh them on the same scale. We're gonna get up beside each other and see what we got. We're not gonna put them in the live well, so. Catch them now. <laughs> I might be with you. All right, good luck, man. A decent little run to a pocket that I really like to fish and we're gonna start off let's see let's start off with the, the rage bug of course the rage bug blue crawl 3 8 ounce one objective weight right there that is the combo we're gonna see if we can get them See if we can get them. Hopefully, we get us a good bag. That's what we're shooting for. Definitely. Got the old new Revo SX. Got two of them to replace my my old loud Revo X's. Definitely not knocking them. They were really good reels, and I caught a ton of fish on them, and they were still solid, but they were just a little loud. So I decided to get a couple new ones. Water clarity looks like about maybe two foot. It's not super, super clear. Not terrible though. But this is a good spawning pocket. And what I'm hoping is that I'm gonna catch some fish in here. The water temps are 58.7 back here. So a little bit warmer than it was actually up the lake. So. Maybe that is a sign that we'll get into some feeding fish. There's a fish. Good one. Good one. Oh, God. I was over a four pounder. That was over a four pounder and he just come off. Doggone it. Look at that. My hook went back into itself. Don't you hate that? Never even stuck him. How did that happen? Oh man. It rolled. It like rolled into itself. I mean, that was over a four pounder, easy. Doggone it. That ain't no good. That's a good sign though. That's a little guy. That's good though. He's gonna make 12 inches. 
He's a 12 incher, but my goodness, he don't weigh anything. I don't even know if he is 12 inches. Yeah, he's 12. He's 12. We're gonna put him in there. 12 ounces. Yikes. 12 ounces. He is just over 12 inches. He is so long and skinny. Look at that thing. Well, we got fish number one. <laughs> a whole lot smaller than the other one <laughs> that we lost. But, hey, we haven't fished long at all, so I'll, I'll take it. Now, why couldn't, uh, why couldn't I have stuck that big one like that? Of course, my hook had to roll into itself. All right. See if we can get us another one. Whoa. Well, I'm certainly glad that we're getting a flipping bite. That is awesome, because that's kind of my thing. Kind of my thing a little bit. I'm going to come out of these bibs at some point. I'm gonna keep my eyes open too because you never know one might scoot up there on the on the bank. chunk there's number two I mean pegged him right in the top of the lip there's a pretty one Ooh, they doing what we want them to be doing let's see what he weighs Two pounds, 12 ounces. All right, 212. Are we up here in the trees? There we go. I mean, absolute chunk right there. Porker. Thank you, bud. Chunk. Yes. I honestly think we're gonna catch them better on this side coming back than on this right side. I think. Not sure. A little bit more wood. A little bit steeper bank for them to slide up on. I think that's kind of kind of what we're gonna be looking for. A little bit steeper banks and all. There's a couple beds up here on this little flat. good one get in here there we go that's a good one I mean just fat pegged right in the tip of the nose shallow super shallow just like I like them that's another two plus pounder all day baby Let's see what we got Spot three. Two, eight. Two, eight. It's a good one. Two pounds, eight ounces. Chunk. I mean, that fish honestly looks more than two, eight, but I don't know. We'll call them two, eight. That's what the scale says. Good deal. Man, we are catching them like we want to. Perfect. I mean, he thumped it when I come up. He just 
thumped it and was swimming off with it. Yes. There should be a fish right here. Yep. There he is. Good one too. Oh my god. All right, so took them bibs off because I was getting super hot. Got retied, kind of trying to reset myself here. Not real sure why, you know, I'm, I'm losing these fish. They're biting at bad times. That's, that's one thing. When the line is wrapped around a tree limb or under a tree limb or whatever but we're getting bit so you know we're doing the right thing we're getting big bites but you don't really tend to win anything when you're losing four and five pounders so we kind of got to get that under control but i'm expecting to catch some fish along this side right here definitely i definitely think this is a sunny side deal it has to be on the sunny side there is no reason why I should not have gotten bitten on this side of this pocket. I mean, like, no reason. There's actually more wood and everything on this side. But the sun's not shining on it. I think those fish are pushing up, getting that warmth from that sun. I don't know, this just doesn't make any sense. So we need to go on in that other pocket. Let's make a move. Next spot, I got a pocket right here we're gonna go up in. And hopefully we get a fish off this point right here. I ought to be able to get one right there. I didn't quite get close enough, but hopefully we get us. Oh my god, like it just took the rod out of my hand. Are you kidding me? Good grief. All right, sun, sunshine is everything. Mm. Right. Get it there. Might need to fish like main lake wood. I don't know that with the bites I got in that pocket. Definitely makes me think that I need to stick with that. So hopefully we do the same thing in here. But I mean that fish right there almost took the rod out of my hand. I'm gonna switch over to a speed crawl just to try something a little different because I don't really know what's going on with my bite. It's done changed up on me a little bit. We're gonna put a speed crawl on and see if we can get bit on that. A little bit smaller profile. Maybe they'll like that a little bit better. Give it a little spritz of bang garlic.
Get on out there, Speedy. Do some work for me. We need some fish. Oh my God. You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's all I can say. Yikes. Mm, this is. It's getting a little tough on a man here. That fish was probably four pounds. Oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, hook's good. I mean, it's it's uh, sharp as it can be. Owner, just like I always use. Man. Mm. Well, <laughs> we'll just keep on, I guess. Doggone it, come here. You better not come off, you sucker. Get in here. That's a good one. I mean, we would have a doggone good bag. I mean, look at that. Just stuck him perfect. But I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I do know sunny shorelines. I do know that much. Two thirteen. Two pounds, thirteen ounces. It's been a while. I mean, we're losing the bigs, but here we go. Thank you, bud. I mean, he thumped it right by that log, man. Let's get us another one. See a big old snapping turtle. I mean, he is a doggone loggerhead. I don't know if y'all can see him right there in front of me. He's a monstrosity. I bet he tries to snap that thing. Oh, he ain't even look at it. There's some brim and stuff back here. Swimming around. So we're gonna come back up this side with no sun. It's 12:20. We're gonna see if we get bit. We are gonna see if we get bit. We should. No reason why we shouldn't, but we did not in the other pocket. So I'm curious to see whether we do or not in this pocket. I mean, I thought about just cutting this hook off and just putting another one on there, but there's 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 no need to. I mean, this hook is razor sharp. Well, darn, we finally got a bite over there on that side. There he is. Got him that time. Get in here. All right, well, I'm assuming that's the same fish. We got a limit. Definitely not 
what uh what we could have had but we're working on one nine that's what he kept setting on all right we finally got bit on a side that was not sunny so there we go There's one. There's one of them better ones. You better not come off, you sucker. I would have a dog going bag. He ain't as big as a couple, a couple of the other ones I lost, but we finally got a darn good one. He was up there in that tree. Got him on the speed crawl. And look, just pegged. Absolutely pegged. All the ones I'm catching are just pegged, but gotta check that one out. They're pegged, but I swear it just I don't know. All right. Three seven is what it settled at. Doggone it. We're we're doing all right, but that fish there, three seven. I believe that fish is over 3.7. I made to double check my scale, but nice fish. That's a pretty one. That is a pretty one. All right. There you go, girl. We finally got one of them better fish. Finally. So what do we got for a total? 13.4 right now. We got to do better than that. We have got to do better than that. It's not bad, I mean, but we could have 20 pounds right now. We got a line wrapped all around the tip. Yep, we could have 20 pounds. Hey, I'll take it. We got a 1.9 that we can get rid of. Should be to get rid of that one. See, that fish was back here near the mouth again. Back near the mouth of the, of the pocket. Yes, we finally got one of the decent ones in the boat. All right, let's move on over to this other side. speed crawl let's get it done baby let's get it done check it make sure we're good yep good to go see if we can get us one i really feel like if we can get one more or two more good ones which we've kind of already had on but <laughs> We didn't put them in the boat, so it don't matter. But I feel like if we can get a couple more good ones, we'll be in good shape. I'm hoping all these beds won't be completely empty either. There he is. Oh, God, giant. Giant. This one we do not need to come off. This is a big one. Gotcha. Yep. There we go. There we go. Pretty one. Yes, sir. Man, we would have a mega bag, y'all. 
we would have a big old good bag. We all think of that one. That's a pretty one. Says four one. Thank you. Pretty one. I mean, absolute chunk. Boom, baby. Pretty one. There she goes. Speed crawl got us one. I stopped out here a little bit further on this point to work my way in, and sure enough, there we go, right off that piece of wood. That's a good upgrade. What do we have now? 15, 12. We would have a pretty doggone good sack if I hadn't lost them fish. But you know what? Maybe we can get a little redemption as we go in here. I'm gonna need to retie, I know that. I know that for sure. It's 216. We do not have very long. We need another fish bad. Another good one. We could have just had a sack today, but instead we don't because we wanted to lose a whole bunch of fish. But that's okay. how Lee's done don't know we're gonna find out here shortly today and what we're doing is we're just fishing to 230 and then we're gonna meet up at the ramp He is not going to call. He is not going to call. Right there where it's supposed to be today. Get out of here. I was hoping that was going to be a big and perfect spot. All right, this is it. Last flip. That's it, 2.30, we're done. We are done. Two, y'all can see it, 2.30. Man, that was a fun time. Ooh, we just flipped a whole limb up in the boat. All right, let's head on back to the ramp. Let's see what Lee's got. What you got? I got 16 2. 16 2. 16 2. That's the camera, boys. Man. 16 2. 16 2. There it is. Look at mine. 15, 15 12. 12. Hey, you got me. <laughs> you got me. That's good. Did you have four or did you end up with four. five? Look, look. Four fish. My fifth one was probably about four and a half, five pounds. I just told him that. Look, got it here. Got her here, she jumped and threw the jack cam right out of my face. All right, well, old Lee got me. He got me today. I had 15, 12. He had 16 pounds, two ounces, but I had a tough time keeping those fish on. I really don't know what was going on. Lost some really good ones. I could have had a really, really big bag, well over 20 pounds, but 
they came off. It was one of those days I've had them before and they're tough, especially when you're fishing a little tournament or if you're fishing in a big tournament, I've had it happen as well. That's just how things go sometimes, but congratulations to Lee, he got me, but we both had a really good day and we caught some nice fish, so that was exciting. It's been a little tough, but today, put some nice ones in the boat. So I really appreciate y'all watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time on Gunfish TV.